All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, get ready. We have a nice topic for you. And please, before we start, use a nice language. Don't insult people. Don't call names. You know, you can attack me. Uh, you can say whatever you want about me. Uh, but uh, attack the topic, not the person, unless it's me. You can say whatever you want about me. Uh, Quran is the book of guidance. There is millions of articles speaking about the Quran, the book of guidance. And I want to examine if this is true. You know what I know? That if we take the Quran seriously and we think about it seriously, then we join Al Baghdadi seriously. As I know, that those who take the Quran seriously as a book of guidance, they either end in, 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 in Guant Guantanamo jail or uh, Trump, he will throw them like Al Baghdadi to the fish. They join terrorism. Because the Quran is the guidance of terrorism, not the guidance of anything else. And we can prove it. You see, those who they are uh, Al Baghdadi and those who follow Al Baghdadi uh, to do jihad, where they get their guidance from? Whatever you want to call it, you want to say those are not Muslim? Well, they are the one who say you are not Muslim. Every one of you says something which does not match what is inside the book. You see, those who they are following ISIS, they are in total agreement with the Quran. And those who don't follow ISIS, they are not really following the Quran, as simple as that. So when you say to me, Quran is a book of guidance, what guidance we are talking about? When where we can find this guidance? Who is a Muslim is willing to give us a call and tell us what guidance we are talking about? Is that a guidance that we should go and fight and kill or should love and uh, you know be nice people what what, what guidance exactly any muslim i'm just trying to find out what guidance look at this in god's system that after we choose him as our only god and has a uh, for hold on hold on, hold on. After we choose him, you Muslim, you don't have a choice. According to Islam, nobody have a choice to choose Allah or not to choose Allah. And we just made a video just a few days ago about how in Islam there is no salvation because Allah, he wrote the destiny of everyone, what he will be. While he was as a sperm and the backbone, according to the Quran. So what it choose? What do you mean choose? And the one who leave Islam kill him. This is what your prophet said. So what do you mean we choose? So what I find here, here we go, uh, this is Jibreel. Okay, thank you. This is the guidance and this is the prophet of guidance. The one who changes religion, kill him. So if I follow the guidance of Muhammad and I see somebody, he decides to leave Islam, we should kill him. Actually, I just received a message from a person who left Islam after speaking to me. And he said, uh, he, you know, he left him Islam him, uh, like uh, him and him, uh, his family. And he sent me a message saying that uh, they are sending him a threat to kill him. You know. He decided to leave Islam, him and his family. Actually, here we go. I will show you. I will not show his name, but I will show part of the message. I just received this message actually. I opened my Skype, I found it. Where is the guidance of Allah? Somebody he don't want to believe in Islam, why you want to kill him and kill his family and his kids because he decided to leave Islam? Hmm? The book of guidance. So who is a Muslim when I call us and tell us what Islam guide you to do exactly? Anyone? 
you know when the Quran says beat your wife is that a guidance for family treatment is that the way we'll make the family healthy beautiful and we live you know in a nice family is that really the guidance any Muslim have an answer how that can be a book of guidance And look in the Muslim translation when we speak about women beating the add words is not in the Quran and you can tell it's even in between two bracket first and next and then lightly beat them lightly the Quran says lightly what is the word lightly in the Quran and what do you mean by lightly are you punishing her or you are tickling her what lightly You change the translator right away you will find different words but all of them are Muslims all of them this their names start with Muhammad Muhammad Abdul uh, we change the translator Muhammad Biktal saying and it's courage them what is the word lightly it's gone what happened and how you want to beat your wife lightly you tell me brother we use a uh, uh, what a toothbrush Toothbrush, you want to convince me that the Quran is talking about beating your wife by toothbrush so you she will obey you? Well, you know what? If I use toothbrush with somebody, somebody to obey me, they will never obey me for the rest of the coming centuries because they will be laughing at me. So you want to convince us that this is what they say to you, brother. It says it's a toothbrush. You beat your wife with toothbrush. Hmm? What toothbrush? It says here you beat her to make her obey you. They say to you, you beat her with the miswak, but the miswak is a very harmful root. It's not a toothbrush. Yes, the Arab they put the end of it in their mouth. You know, because this is a you know I am an Arab. We are savage. This is how it is. So we use the stick, the same stick we beat the camel with it. We put the end of it in our mouth. This is now toothbrush. Here we go. Let us show you some images of the toothbrush. Toothbrush, right? Hmm. This is the toothbrush they are talking about. Take a note. I just searched in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. Do you see the toothbrush? Those are cuff after cutting them off, they are longer. But they lie to you, they say those are toothbrush. It's a long root of a tree. The miswak is a root. It's not even a branch of a tree. It is a root which is very flexible and they use it to beat the camel with it. So they say to you, brother, we beat her with toothbrush. Hmm? Oh, very nice of you. So this is the book of guidance saying we beat them with toothbrush. And this is the prophet of guidance says beat your wife and that will make your, your, our life nicer and my family will love me. And my kids will respect me because I beat my I beat their mother. Hmm? So as long as this is the book of guidance, as you Muslim, you claim, what is the guidance? After I beat my wife with the toothbrush, as you say here, and look how nice this toothbrush. So after I do that, what what is next, brother? She obey you, brother. Because if she disobey you again, you beat her with toothbrush. <laughs> hey, Anthony, how are you? So do we have any Muslim would like to call us and tell us about the book of guidance? I'm really, I want to be guided. Because I'm thinking to get married and I'm not sure I'm going to beat my wife. This is, this, this is the only worry I have. I beat her with what? Toothbrush or I use uh, lipstick or what exactly we should use to be... This is this is a book of God. 
And look, the Quran says, scourge them, and if they obey you, don't beat them no more. Look how nice the Quran. We have to, we have to be now. Like, come on, look at the guidance. Then, if they obey you, seek not a way against them. So, what the purpose of this beating? Forcing the women to obey me. This is the wise God Allah. Hmm? This is the book of guidance. What is the guidance we are talking about? Why we have only 500 people watching? What is everybody? Are you guys watching cartoon from my back? What is everybody? Yeah, by the way, the reason I'm making different timing, this is why maybe the number is not uh, like uh, uh, good, uh, because I want people from different territory to be able to join us. So when we do it late, people from Indonesia or America, they can join. When we do it late now, for this is good time for people in Europe. So I'm trying just to do it in different timing, even though I know that the number will not be good. But, you know, God is good, my friend. It doesn't matter how many we have, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, and even if we have a twelve people, my Lord the Messiah, he have a twelve people only listening to him. I'm I'm lucky. So uh, here we go. We have somebody from Indonesia, he did not go to sleep yet. Do you know why? Because he is thinking tomorrow I will beat my wife with what? In Indonesia, toothbrush are expensive. Hmm. What what I will use to beat my wife and I am from Indonesia. Uh -huh. I'm not sure really. You need to look in the market, brother. Try to use the hadith. Maybe the prophet can help you. Hmm? So do we have any Muslim want to share with us some guidance? What is uh, what is the guidance behind having four wives? Forget about beating the wife now. Hmm? What is the what is the logic of having four wives? Everybody knows if you have one wife, she would drive you crazy. So imagine you have four wives and four mother-in-law. Hmm? Any Muslim can tell us? What is the guidance behind this? And look, notice the Quran did not say uh, 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 Mary. It says go and do the F word. He did not even use the word Mary. What do you think? Uh, why did Salomo marry Salami when he was his sister? Uh, yeah, that's university. This is an old question and it's very silly. However, give me a call and I will get you busted, Abdul. Do you like to give me a call? Let us make an agreement. The book which teaching you can beat, you can marry your sister is the book of the devil. Is that fair, guys? The book which teaching that somebody can marry his daughter is the book of the devil. So, Mr. Uh, das uh, University uh, Salami Balami, do you dare to call me? Do you dare to call me? And this is the topic. If we can prove that your book is teaching that, that means your book is evil. It, if you can prove that my book teaching what you said, that means my book is evil. Do you dare? Mm. Look, he is looking now for miswak. He is looking for toothbrush. He decided to change the topic. What, you don't want toothbrush no more? Salami malami? Eh, okay. I thought I thought you are a, a, a fart. It turned to be a diarrhea. Now we go back to our topic. What is the wisdom of a God saying, go and do bing, boom, boom to four women? And if you cannot afford it, then one. Anyone? Anyone? I'm just trying to learn from the book of guidance, my friend. The book of guidance is in front of us. What kind of God saying? Go, you see the translation, they say Mary. Where, where in Arabic it says Mary? Where in Arabic the word Mary is? And you know what? Look at this book of guidance. What, what orphan have to do 
with the, this topic here. If you cannot be fair with the orphan, go and do boom boom to women of your choice, three, uh, two or three or four. And if you cannot afford it, look, it says here justice. Tadilu, uh, tadilu. Uh, to be accurate, the word in Arabic tadilu means to be justice. Yeah, but I don't think this is about just here. Uh, and just to show you the book, the book of guidance, if we go in the same chapter, not different chapter, you know. And uh, let me do something in front of you. Do you see here uh, this word in the same page? We will find the same word exist again. Guess what? The same Quran, the same chapter says, and you will not be able to do it, it deal equally with your wives. So how the first number three, four, it says, uh, 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 like you know, okay, uh, uh, if you uh, brother, if you want to have sex with four women, uh, you can have sex with four women, but you, if you cannot have uh, be justice. Only one, and the Quran confirmed that you will never be equal to have justice with women. I'm dizzy now. Where is the book of guidance? Isn't it the first verse saying, if you cannot do, do justice between them, between so many? Do you see? Even the, the, even the translator is helping me. I think the translator, he worked for me. To so many. Why a man he needs so many? Or oh, is women a chicken? Is women like, like a bunch of goats? Is, is women are watermelon? What do you mean you have so many? So the Quran says, go and do boom boom, not to marry. The word marry never exists there. Of women who do you, seem good to you, two or three or four. So start with two and then a three or four. By the way, that the title will be nine, the, the, the total number. And not not four, and that explains why most of the and Muhammad himself, according to Muslim, he have nine wives at the same time. So two or three or four, and if you feel you cannot be justice, then only one. Okay, but the same Quran says you cannot be justice. You see, the book of guidance is not working with me; it's getting me dizzy. So if you are confirming there is no human being can be justice with many wives why you are saying to them in the same chapter just a verse before that you can you can have four my huh, brother you see this is the book of guidance I'm guided now you follow this book you find yourself hit in the head and the in the wall Thank God that the Quran is not used as a GPS system. Otherwise, all of us, we will have accident and we will die from the first day. You tell me how the, this is a contradiction in the same page. One verse saying, go and do boom, boom to two and three and four. And if you cannot be justice, only one, and this is your translation. And then we, the same chapter is not even different chapter. We don't even flip the page yet. It says, Abdul, you cannot be justice. So now, are we allowed to have four or not? I'm drinking tea, by the way. Anyone want some tea? You pay only for shipping and handling. The tea is free. Hmm? The same as Muhammad. Heaven is for a free, brother, but you have to give me your money first. Have you ever heard? This is the book of guidance. Forget about beating women and four. And have you ever heard? Of a God, he says, if you give me your money, I will double it for you as a mortgage and I will forgive your sin. I never heard of a God, he's begging for money. Anyone? Allah, he wants to buy a loan, he want to get a loan. <laughs> That is a book of guidance. Look, obviously, Allah Himself He need guidance for finance. Allah has a finance problem. This is the book of guidance. Is somebody like, let me call Bank of America for you? Tere dem, tere dem, tere dem, tere dem. 
Hello? I told you, Christopher Prince, never call me. What are you doing there? I'm calling Bank of America. Zach and Nick, what are you doing there? I didn't make a from Pakistan. And right now I'm working in the Bank of America. Zachary Nayak, you are working for Bank of America right now? Exactly. And what are you doing there? I'm going loan. You are giving a loan? Exactly. And, okay, did you read the verse in the Quran, chapter 64? Don't continue, brother. Don't continue. I know verse number 17. It said, the one who give loan into Allah, Allah will give him a good loan. And Allah will give him double reward and he will forgive him. Okay. And this is exactly why I did Dome Bank of America because I want to give Allah a bank a loan. Because Bank of America will not approve Allah because Allah don't have a good reputation. What? Are you serious? They will not even approve Allah to get a loan? Exactly. Because Bank of America is run by the Jews. By the Jews. Exactly. This is the book of guidance. The book of guidance, Allah is begging for money. Can't Allah order the ground at the ground to bring all the gold Muhammad he need? What is this? Hmm? <clears throat> Actually, you want to call me? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, you can call me. If not, don't call me. Where is the book of guidance? Somebody guide Allah how to get a, a mortgage. And look at this a scam. You see, always you know it's a scam. If somebody says to you, if you give me a donation or money, God will forgive to you your sin. That is a scam, obviously. You give donation to Christian Prince, you don't give donation to Christian Prince, that will not make your sin go. This is a fraud. This is obviously a fraud. Somebody, this Muhammad, trying to convince those poor Arabs, saying to them, if you give me your money, Allah will double your reward and he will forgive your sin. Since when we can bribe God? Since when we can bribe God? What kind of God, if you give him money, he forgive my sin? Somebody saying Catholic Church aren't Christians. No, they are Christians. What does this have to do with our topic? Uh, I heard before they fabricated a lie saying that the Pope, he give uh, uh, like forgiveness if you give him money. Uh, we cannot find that in anywhere in the history of the church. I did search very carefully. Secondly, even if somebody did that, what does this have to do with the Catholic? You know, people are really stupid and naive. I'm not a Catholic, but I don't like lies. The Pope himself, he asks for forgiveness every Sunday, and he confesses his sin. This is a tradition of the church since the beginning until now. So don't, don't go there. Don't play the game of... Uh, and, you know, let us see, as long as we are talking about this Catholic and Protestant, etc., do you know what Allah, he says, the book of guidance? Allah, he said, he will supply the Christians with hatred. This is why I say, anyone who tried to divide the Christians, he served Allah, he served the devil. This is a chapter 5, verse number 14. Read it carefully. And here I ask the Muslims, what is the guidance of that? What is the... Do Allah, by, split, by spreading hate between the Christians, is he making us better human being or more ugly? If we are ugly. Anyone can tell me? Is that a guidance? If the one who spread hatred between the Christians is Allah, so what did the devil do exactly? CP, go help brothers and sisters in Nigeria. They are blind in Islam. My friend, what I'm doing right now? So what do you want me to do more? I mean, go to Nigeria? What about you take my videos, you as a Nigerian, and if they speak different language, add subtitle and, you know, use it. Why this guy, Christian Prince, he have to do everything for everybody in the world? I'm doing, I'm doing my part. This is the language I speak. I speak Arabic, I speak English. What I can do more? If you are from Nigeria, if you are from this country, from that country, what about you do your part and let us see. 
They bring the Nigerian for me. I saw somebody in the text saying that there is a sheikh from Nigeria. He wanted to get me busted, but I ran away. And by the way, this is true, brother. I bought a new shoes. I don't know how this guy knew. I bought a new shoes. And now I can run a lot faster. Right? Here we go. We are live on. You're the one who would like to call us. Call us. My Skype is open. Where is the sheikh from Nigeria? Anyone will talk about the Catholic Church, I will ban you. There's no Catholic, there's no Protestant, there's no Orthodox here. Take your stupidity and get out. Here we have people who follow Christ who don't care for the names of the church you go to. This is a warning. You don't like what we do here, get out. So do we have any Muslim with his guidance when it come to us? Anyone? What is the guidance of Allah? What is the guidance and what is the wisdom if Allah he spread hatred between the Christians until judgment day? Who want to tell me what is the guidance here? What is the guideline? What is the purpose? Allah is the devil? Are you saying to me Allah is the devil? The verse is talking about what? A punishment to those who forgot the good covenant with God. <laughs> you know, when a Muslim he tried to answer, he make it more blind. So look at this Abdul, he is giving us an answer. This is a verse talking about punishment to those who forgot the good covenant, the, the covenant that made with God. Okay, when the Christians they made a covenant with God according to your Quran, I challenge you to show me. I want a Abdul, he have little brain or bigger brain. If it's evil, if it is available ever, to show me what covenant God he had with the Christians according to the Quran. Obviously, your God is a stupid because there is no such a thing. Secondly, if somebody forget the covenant, this is what you do. You spread hatred between them. I thought you sent messengers to warn them. Is it Muhammad he sent as a warner for all mankind? Obviously, all mankind, they've been taught about God, but they are not listening. So how come Allah target only the Christians? I will tell you why. Because the Christian get him busted. He is false, he is a fool, and he is a fraud. If we compare this to what Jesus did, when Jesus, he was walking with the sinners and talking to them, the Jews, they start saying, look, he's talking to the sinners, he's talking to the Pharisees, he's talking to this woman, he's talking to this man. Jesus said, I came for the sick. I came for the sick. Allah, He make you more sick if you are sick. <laughs> do you see the Do you see the different? Do you see the different? Obviously, the one who made the Quran is not bringing guidance; is bringing chaos. Because if you, if you spread hatred between the Christians, you are making people ugly. This is what hatred does. Uh, a Muslim saying the following you see they're trying to change the topic but no problem we use whatever they bring to us as a way to get them busted it worked for me perfectly uh, this guy he's saying how can you say that there is no different sect or domination in Christianity each sect difference the doctrines in certain belief that's stupid to say my friend because all those six you named, they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the crucifixion, the coming back of Jesus, the resurrection, the virgin birth, and the rest is not really, it's just a details. We don't care for it. We're not to change anything. As an example, I don't agree with the Catholic. He have a picture in his church, but that will not to change anything. Still, he believe in Jesus as God, as Savior, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The picture is not really important. However, as long as you mention this, let me show you something. We'll make you Look ashamed of what you just said. 
according to your God, Muhammad, he said that the most divided nation is his nation. So why you follow Islam? Is that your prophet saying that? Or me? All those hadith which is accurate hadith saying that the nation of the Muslims, the nation of Muhammad will spread into 72 nations. Look how many hadith. All of those are the same. Saying that the nation of Muhammad will be 73 sect while the Jews and the Christians will be 71, 72. So if this is a problem for you, well, this is a big problem for you because you are the most divided nation ever, according to your prophet. Do you see it, Abdul? Are you there? Are you? We do not deny the fact, but we, you, the Christian, deny. No, we do not deny anything. But that will not make any difference because Jesus said, uh, "From their fruit you shall know them." You see, you you are you are a person. You are not debating Christianity. You are debating individuals. Either you debate the teaching of Jesus or you debate the teaching of a priest. A priest he can be corrupt. He can be false like your prophet. He can be a fraud. He can be a child molester like your prophet. But if you want to debate me, debate me about Jesus' teaching. Is that correct, guys? Neither the priest, neither me, neither the Pope, neither Protestant, neither Catholic, they can say we are the one who speak for Christ. Christ only speak for himself. The word of Christ is there. So you want to debate me? Here we go. Your prophet saying this, and my, my Lord saying, whoever believe in me and die will live. It doesn't matter who. The Bible says there's no Greek, there's no free, there's no slave, there's no Hebrew. All of them, they are one by Jesus the Christ. So you might find somebody, he make a differentiation and he divide us. What about Unitarian? Who, who care about Unitarian? They are not Christians. Debate me about Christians. Unitarian are not Christians. Because anyone who teach other than the teaching which is in the Bible about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, it means he is not following the Bible. Isn't it in the Bible it says there is a Father and Son and Holy Spirit? That's it. <laughs> so you are quoting for me. Things have nothing to do with us. And now why you don't give me a call and show me the guidance of the Quran? Here we go. According to your prophet, the most divided sect, and it's a gambling because only one, only one of those 73 sect will go to heaven. Which one? For me in Christianity, there's nothing is called nothing is called sect will go to, to heaven. We don't believe in that. You can be Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox or none of those, and yet you go to heaven. As long as you believe in the Messiah. In Islam, no. In Islam, you have to be that sect which Muhammad he named is the correct one. And which one? Here the translation says the main body. That's false translation. It says at Jama'ah. At Jama'ah mean the group. And they are going, to, according to Muhammad, in different hadith, they are the lowest of mankind. Islam start as a strange and will end as a strange. Which means Islam will be a minority and only few people really believe in Islam, the same as it was in the time of Muhammad. So who's a Muslim would like to call us and tell us the guidance of Allah? And as long as the guidance of Allah is working, why you Muslim became 73 sect? Jesus says that the father greater than him sound like he is not co-equal. Okay, you can say that. This is your explanation. Jesus saying that because he is, the, the Bible says in different verse, for God, he humbled himself and he took a form of a man. So this is the humble image, the visible image of the invisible God is Jesus. So because you are ignorant, you are asking me why Jesus is saying my father is greater than me. He's talking about himself as a man. God is not, is not like this.
the glory of God is way way more so you Muslim you try to explain to our book to us but and the funny when we show you something from your book we show you your interpretation but when you show me something from my book you show me your own interpretation when you cannot even read your Quran who is a Muslim he have anything to say to us about the guidance of Allah as I know that the Quran says that the one who misguide people is Allah so how the Quran is the book of guidance anyone can tell us hmm? is it Allah who in the Quran confirmed that he is the one who misguide and he deceive how this is book is the book of guidance you tell me woman you little law and the one who Allah deceive no guidance for him is that Quran or I'm making things up anyone Look at this verse. <laughs> Are you going, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, the hypocrite, they became two, uh, two parties regarding the hypocrites. Oh, the Muslims, they became two parties about the hypocrites. Then Allah cast them back in disbelief. Who is the one who cast them back in disbelief? Allah. And look at the first translation it says here because of what they earned seek ye not to guide him whom Allah has sent astray look at this madness are you going to are you trying to guide the one who Allah misguide him but in Arabic it says not misguide it says deceive him so are you going to are you going to guide the one who Allah deceive him <laughs> what do you think hmm? uh, Jeremiah you know you, you are posting for me Jeremiah I can I, look, you see what about you 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 instead of uh, copy paste and show us a verse from here from the Bible and there what about you give me a call and you give me this verse and you answer the verse we show you in the screen and more verses to come do you have the courage who is a brave Muslim he have the courage to come and call me when the Bible speak about God he deceived the enemies they are coming to kill me what deceive here mean he blind their eyes from seeing where I am what they can do to me but here we are talking about deceiving of belief about worshiping God not about okay they are coming to kill me and now I'm going to make your enemy not to see you I will blind them but here Allah is blinding you from seeing the truth and he is the one who is making you going astray do you see it they are very desperate So why you say to us the Quran is the book of guidance when Allah himself is the one who misguide? And look what the verse is saying. Are you going to guide whom who Allah deceive? In Arabic, it doesn't say even sent astray. It says here, read carefully. Are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide and send him, uh, 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 deceive him? Woman, you'd little law fell and teji the lahu sabila, and the one who Allah deceive nobody can find him, find for him a guidance. You know, change the translator, just wait, hold on, just show you by just a change in the translator how everything change. Where is uh, this uh, uh, Hilali? Hilali, okay, all the Nigga Muslims, read carefully. Do you want to guide him who Allah make made made go astray? 
and he whom Allah made to go astray will never find for him a way of guidance. So Allah, he sent Muhammad to guide who? The one is guided already? <laughs> what a comedy. If the one who Allah made him go astray and deceive him so he will not be guided, you cannot guide him. So you can guide who? The one is guided already? It's like sending a doctor to somebody is healthy and not to the sick because Allah made him sick you cannot fix him hello you see that you see the wisdom brother Muhammad is trying to explain why those people want to believe in him he could not explain why so he made this verse saying oh, Allah told me are you going to guide those who the Allah he deceived them you cannot and by the way, this is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? This verse is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. <clears throat> My friend, the topic about Jehovah's Witnesses is yesterday. We are done. Jehovah's Witnesses are a stupid cult. It's more stupid than Islam. So any Muslim, uh, 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 how we find that this is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet? Who can help me? How this verse proving Muhammad is a false prophet? Okay, do you know that those who he said that verse to them, they converted to Islam? Do you believe it? If this verse is a truthful and Muhammad is a person of truth, Allah said to him, you cannot guide those who I misguide. So how later they converted to Islam? <laughs> he just told him, you cannot guide them. That's it. Nobody can guide them. That's it, brother. So how they converted to Islam later? Any Abdul? If Allah is God and he says those people like the Muslim they will say to you do you know that Abu Lahab there is a verse about him that uh, uh, you know if Abu Lahab he became a Muslim that will be a problem will only Abu Lahab is the problem all those verses is about those who became a Muslim later as an example uh, <clears throat> Anyone will start speaking about Catholic and Protestant in the chat. I will kick you out You see this is what the Muslims they want to do. They are looking for a bunch of fool between those who call themselves a Christians and There's many there's many are not a Christians here Christian mean anyone who follow Jesus so the devil he worked perfectly between the fool not between the smart Go in a in a place where there's a bunch of dumb stupid idiots and say Protestant or Catholic and you will see they will jump over each other because they are stupid like Muhammad So this is how you know if you are stupid or smart For the donkeys who they are listening Here is a place for the Christians not for donkeys People of Jesus are not donkeys Jesus says love your enemy, but you cannot even love your brother in Christ and this is how full you are Jesus says love the Muslims but the second we say to you, Protestant or Catholic, you go crazy because you are a false Christian. Because you are the son of the devil. Because Jesus never entered your heart. Christ is what we follow and what we worship. Anyone who follows something else get lost. No bishop, no pope, no priest, no Christian prince. Every man, the Bible says, says all of them, they are sinners. And those who follow sinners are stupid, idiot, and they are mad. And they will go to hell. So this is a warning. Anyone he will go out of the topic, we we will consider you trying to divide us and take us away from our topic. So we will not learn.
Any Muslim want to tell us how this is happening? If Allah says those people will never be guided, then how they are guided later? Anyone? Well, I will ban you both of you. Here we go. What is the other name? Ted, whatever. We don't want more garbage here. We have a mission. We have a target. Who is next? Now, any Muslim want to give us an answer? What is the guidance? And look, it says here, are you going to find a way for him for guidance? So as I thought the Quran is a book of guidance. But Allah says you cannot find guidance for the one who Allah deceive. So we are deceived by Allah. The Quran come from that. And because Allah is the deceiver, because of that, you cannot find the guidance for me. So how you lie to me, you say is that the Quran is the book of guidance. Any Muslim can tell us? Anyone? So you were lying to us about guidance then. <clears throat> Who is a Muslim don't agree with me? What is the guidance? You lied. You said to us the book of guidance when the Quran saying there's no guidance. There's the opposite. Anyone who don't believe in Allah is Allah who deceived them. So what you prove to me from the Quran, the book you have, that Allah is the devil. He is the one who misguide us and he is the one who deceive us. And by the way, they are trying to make the Quran look nicer. They are not translating correctly. The word yudil, anyone who speaks Arabic, it says yudil to deceive. Deceive. As simple as that. So what the verse is saying, are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? The, the one who Allah deceived, nobody can guide him. What do you think? Any Muslim have anything to say? The verse talking about the hypocrites, my friend, all of you Muslims are hypocrites. Let me let me prove it for you. Guys, Mr. Justice, he just said, this verse is speaking about the hypocrite. Isn't it the Quran says that Muslims, to the Muslims, don't say that you are a believer. Say you are a hypocrite. Say you are a Muslim, which means, let me show you. Here we go. <laughs> Allah, he confirmed that he never broke guidance to any of the Arab. Rather that he did force them to convert to Islam. Read carefully. Chapter 49, verse number 14. The wandering Arab says, we believe. We believe what? In Arabic, it doesn't say we believe. It says, Aslamna. Aslamna. We became Muslims. Say to them, Muhammad, you became, you believe not, but you better say, we became Muslims. You see here they say we submit? Okay, hold on. The translation is false, no problem, but, you know, we can, we can get this translation busted easy. If you change, 
because this is about surrender here we go see it's surrender Islam does not mean submit I mean I, I saw many stupid fool who even claim to be Christians teaching about Islam they keep saying you know I'm stupid things and we keep correcting them Islam does not mean submit Islam does not mean submission Islam does not mean uh, uh, peace Islam means surrender so the Bedouin Arab they say is we surrender we became Muslims say say you believe not but only say Allah tell them what to say we have surrender in Islam isn't it, this is a hypocrisy so Allah he announced clearly that every Muslim is a hypocrite or what he care for is not to believe is to say Shahada do you see it are you there mr. justice is that your Quran or I'm making things up Allah he don't care if they believe or not say we surrender say we are Muslims this what says in Arabic the Arab they said we believe say to them say to them you believe not but say we are Muslims and Iman faith never enter your heart okay how they never how the faith never enter their heart but they are Muslims now so Allah, he, he is the biggest hypocrite ever. He don't care if they believe or not. Or what he cares, they surrender. They became Muslims. And yet they say that this is the book of guidance. And this is totally the opposite of the teaching of Jesus. What Jesus says to the Jews who they are hypocrites. If your father is Abraham, you do the work of your father. If you are the children of Abraham, you do the work of your father. So how come you claim that you are children of Abraham, but you do, but you do not do what Abraham do? And he told them, your father is the devil. Your father is the snake. The Quran is the opposite. Do you see it? Where is the book of guidance? And what kind of God? He don't he he knew they don't believe, and yet he says to them, "Say we are Muslims." That's a lie, Mister Justice, because the Quran says clearly, "Say we are Muslims." Guys, this is the Quran says. Say we are Muslims. So what do you mean the true Muslim is the one who changed from his side? Muhammad is saying, this is Quran, respect your God. That say we are Muslims. Who is the one saying to them, say we are Muslims? Allah. And he is the one confirming that those people, they never believe. So why, why you are saying to them, say, we are Muslims, we surrender. Do you see it? Your God is the devil. He don't care really if they believe or not. Oh, what he care? He won the war and he forced them to convert to Islam. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. What is the book of guidance? Until now, I see nothing. All what I see, and as a crazy God, He says stupid things. And look who what what your prophet says in the verse after it. Who is the true believer? <laughs> so those are Muslims. Those are the believers. Those who they are believers is the one who believe in Allah and the messengers afterward, and uh, uh, and they try they do jihad, and they give their money, and they give their life. Do you see it? They give وَجَاهَدُوا بِأَمْوَالِهِمْ وَأَنفُسَهُمْ Those who do jihad with their money and their life. So, Mr. Justice, you are not a Muslim. You did not join ISIS. 
And look what happened to ISIS. They feed them to the fish. Aren't Allah want us to be mu'min and not to just Muslim? No, here we go. You see, you are the stupid one here. You are the one is lying. Here we go. The verse in the front of you. Allah is saying to those Arab who faith never entered their heart. Say we are Muslims. <laughs> he didn't say to them, don't say we are Muslims. Because if what you say is true, then Allah should not say to them, say we are Muslims. He is giving them the name. You are Muslim. But you are not a believer. Don't say we believe. Say we are Muslims. Do you see it? Are you, are you blind? Hmm? They say we believe. Say you believe not. But you only should say or better say. We have surrendered to Allah in Islam. We became Muslims. It's in front of you. And you are accusing me of lying? What a, what a stupid of you to say. I never saw a Muslim defending Islam. He don't have a high IQ. Never. All my life. Never, ever, ever. Can you find me one Muslim who defend Islam? He have a high IQ. When uh, uh, when David Wood was debating with Mimi Hijab, uh, David Wood he says to him, "Allah have a physical being here, physical body." He said to him, <laughs> "Who said so?" He obviously have a low IQ. The one who said so is your prophet and the Quran. So. They, you know, they act like a comedy clown, think that that will make them look better. And the Muslim, they support him like, hey, hey, brother, Allahu Akbar. You just insulted your God, insulted your prophet, and made fun of them by saying, who said so? Because if you are laughing at the one who says so, well, your prophet is the one who says so. And there's tons of videos, including Zakir Naik, Saying this, Allah is a physical being. He have a hand, he have an eye, he have a foot. I never saw anyone, he debate about Islam, he have any kind of IQ. Anyone? Who said so? Elijah is God with us. Okay, I know this is coming. You don't speak Hebrew and you don't speak Arabic and now I'm going to teach you. I know this is coming. <laughs> and here we go. He taught him Hebrew and he taught him Arabic. And Elijah means God is with us. Can I call? Uh, are you a Muslim, my friend? I want Muslims. Are you a Muslim? Only Muslim can call me. I have the headset in my ears. I don't know what for for all this time. Let me take it off. Nobody is calling. Anyone? Who is a brave Muslim? He have the guidance of Allah. Uh, you know what? Let me show you the guidance of Allah. According to the guidance of Allah, a sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. Why do I want to go to school? Hmm? Why do I want to go to school? Quran, brother. Quran is the book of guidance. Huh? Sperm is coming from the backbone. Paul is a fake man. Don't listen to him. My friend, stop being a fool. Paul is a fake man, not a fake man. You can't answer. You are trying to change the topic and the disaster we see in front of us. What kind of God, he says, that 
the sperm is coming from a bone which is the last bone in your spine hmm? there's a there's a very famous singer he made a song it's called backbone backbone what you gonna do what you gonna do when I come for you backbone backbone the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. And this is the book of guidance. Who is going to study medicine anymore? Nobody. Here we go. We know where the sperm is coming from. It's just two words. The ribs of the women and the backbone of the man. It's a proven to be true. We called Zach and Nick before, and he answered us about that. I can tell you that the one is calling me right now is the Christian Prince because he always called me to bother me and I told him and I reported him to police and he told them don't call me again uh, uh, Zachar I have just a little question for for the sake of Allah Shem can you tell me how the Quran says that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women first of all you are lying the Quran doesn't say that the Quran says that it's coming for the women from the sperm, it's coming from the location of the necklace. Ah, not all the ribs. Exactly. Only the location of the necklace. Okay. So how does this can be true? This is the science of Allah which nobody discovered yet. And the science need to learn from Allah. The, what? The science need to learn from Allah? And the science did not discover this yet? Exactly. And because you are stupid, you think that the scientists are telling you the truth. The fact they are lying to you. And most of them, they are atheists, by the way. <laughs> they are atheists, but Christian. What do you say, Muslims? Hmm? <clears throat> what do you think? Any Abdul? Loomp after 40 days? What after 40 days? Your prophet, he says you will be a sperm for 40 days. <coughs> 40 days, brother, a sperm. By the way, I wish I had a camera at that time. You will be a sperm, according to the Quran, not in the womb, in, in the womb of the women, but in her uh, private part for four sorry in her in her belly in her stomach do you see it hmm. let me show it in arabic inna ahadakum yujma'u khalquhu fi batni ummihi 40 yawman nutfa the one of you he will be in his mother's stomach in a form of semen and here they put the word womb in fact it does not say womb it says stomach or belly so you will be gathered in the form of a semen for 40 days this is the book of guidance that's guidance brother we discover now that semen can stay alive for 40 days and where in the stomach the word in the form of semen does not appear in Arabic uh, no it appeared that but obviously you don't speak Arabic here we go يُجْمَعُ خَلْقَهُ فِي بَطْنِ أُمِّهِ أَرْبَعِينَ يَوْمًا نُطْفَةً he is in the state of what? نُطْفَةً look like you are an idiot playing games who is a Muslim when I tell us about this knowledge? How Muhammad he earned this knowledge? Hmm? Why the scientists they are lying saying that the sperm can live maximum of five days? Why they are lying? Anyone? Hello? So we can say that Muhammad and his religion guide us into science, guide us into, uh, look at this, I want to guide you to something else. 
the prophet he made verses saying don't eat sandwiches don't eat my food don't eat what don't eat my food look at this guidance Allah the creator of the galaxies the creator of the heaven and the earth according to Muslims he is making this verse or who you believe internet the prophet house until uh, leave is given to you for a meal Allah is worried about people eating the shish kebab of Muhammad if 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 that's that's guidance and what kind of a prophet this prophet he is obviously the one who want to enter the house to eat a meal obviously is a poor how come Jesus according to the Muslims Allah he sent them seven sandwiches every sandwich have a wheel and Muhammad yet he is worried about a piece of bread of a bread we will give it to somebody is poor any Muslim want to say something this is book of guidance don't eat food in the house of the Prophet not only that and don't wait for food look 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 and then not not to wait for food to be prepared so if Muhammad says to you we don't have food yet don't wait for it this is God Hello. Who remember there is a very, very, very strong verse in the Quran about food? Who remember? Who remember that verse? <coughs> Anyone remember the book of guidance? Which verse is about food in the Quran? Anyone? 2561 okay let us see 2561 hmm. you are wrong who want to give me the correct number 2661 <laughs> are we really, are we going to spend the day guessing 2661 <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I have a very, very good student. <laughs> All right, let us see something really good. Uh, the a book of guidance, brother. This is the book of guidance. I mean, come on. All right, <clears throat> yeah. All right. <clears throat> It is 2461. Is not it is not is there's no fault in the blind nor the one who is born lame nor the afflicted with illness nor yourself that you should eat in your houses. If 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 the book of guidance guide us that you can eat at home. What do you want more? I thought I can eat only in the house of my neighbor. But finally, by the guidance of Allah, I discover, especially if I'm a blind, if you are blind, you can eat at home. Really? Thank you. I was eating always in McDonald's in the time of the Prophet. At the time of the Prophet, where people they eat anyway? Muslims, in the time of Muhammad, where people they eat? At that time, they have McDonald's. They have uh, what they have. What do you mean you can eat at your home? Don't you think this is too much guidance? And then the disaster continue. Or the house of your father. Like what? I can eat the house of my father or the or your mother. Wow, brother. Or your brother, like what? Or your sister, uh huh? Or father, brother, or father, sister, or your mother, brother. Are you going to count the whole town? What is this? The book of guidance. Hmm.
that's deep that's a lot of guidance we have to admit <clears throat> somebody saying CP your religion for you your religion my religion for me no need to take care of others my friend that's really funny of you your prophet he says go and fight the Christians and the Jews and kill them if they don't convert to Islam and now suddenly your religion for me your religion for me how come you did not say that your prophet and by the way this chapter is the one you are quoting for me about your religion that it's called the chapter of al kafirun it's an insult you are calling me kuffar so you are saying you have religion, I have mine, but you are calling me kafir. What about I call you kafir? Huh? And now I want to show you how how smart this uh, verse uh, chapter is. It's a few verses. Say those who reject faith, I worship not what you worship, and you nor worship, you worship what I worship, and you will not worship what I have worship, and you will not want to worship, and you do worship, and nor you will worship what I worship, but you the worship, and you worship because I have my worship, and you have yours. Have you ever heard of a guidance like this before? Let me just take one word and switch it and let us see what is going to be. I eat not what you eat and you will not eat not what I eat because I will not do eat what you eat and you will never do eat what I eat for because I don't eat what you eat and you don't eat what I eat for I have my food and you have yours. This is the guidance. And by the way, this chapter approving Muhammad again to be a false prophet. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Because he said to those who they are later became Muslims, he said to them, you will never believe in what I believe. <laughs> Didn't he? Those who he said that to them, later they became Muslims. So it was a false prophecy. يا أيها الكفار لا آكل ما تأكلون ولا أنتم تأكلون ما آكل ولا أنا آكل ما أكلتم ولن تأكلوا ما آكل ولا أنا آكل ما تأكلون لكم فلافلكم ولي فلافلي آمين سورة الفلافل The chapter of falafel What is that? Don't you think this is too much? Hello? This is the book of... Okay, I give up. So who's the Muslim going to give me one chapter in the Quran have wisdom? I don't want to show you. You see, it's you Muslim who chose this chapter, not me. And now it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. Hadi Balagha? هذه بلاغة ولا بلاها عيني <تصفيق> عند العربي أنواع من البلاغة وكلها تصب في نبع البلاعة عن الجلس والنسوان ومن الجنس صناعة يا الله أني مسلم؟ <تصفيق> Thank God I'm not making my program in Arabic, otherwise people would die laughing. This is why you're still alive, Hafsa, because you didn't understand. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, most of Muslims, they, they like if you ask a guy from Indonesia, is, is the Quran is an amazing book for you? He says, absolutely. Let me play for you for other this tape and he bring you a tape of a guy who have a nice voice my friend this guy who have a nice voice even even if he sing a song for the poo, poo would sound good because he have a nice voice but do you understand what he's saying no so how the Quran sound good to you they always not only that when they when they recite the Quran they they do a, a equalizer job 
you know there is a there is a video if you remember uh, what his name Mimi Hijab after he had a debate with uh, David Wood he was uh, uh, reciting the Quran asking for donation and the voice is so disgusting so ugly because they made it fast without editing and then they have another video uh, Muhammad Hijab himself reciting the Quran. They have echo. They have you know to make it to make the sound sound nice. Like you know, it's different, totally different. So what happened? It's the same guy. Now who can make Quran better than my Quran? Let me let me tell you what I can. Let's show you the book of guidance. <clears throat> I will announce myself as a prophet, and then I will give you a promise. If you believe in me. You will have women with the three breasts, not two big boobs only. The women who I will give you, brother, they will have a three breast, not two, big two. I will give you three. You know what? I changed my mind. I will give you women. She have seven boobs. This is God. This is God promising me women with big boobs. What I would do with them? I play boxing with them like boing, 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 boing. I like boxing. Boing, 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 boing. Wife, don't move. Wife, don't move. Boing, boing, boing. What do you do with the big balloon? What kind of God this God is? This is the book of guidance. He is seducing me by a grape. What a grape? Okay, and women with big boobs. I mean, what is the what is the connection between the verse before it and the verse after it? I'm going to go crazy. What is the connection between the grape and the boobs? Hey, brother, in the heaven of Allah, brother, we have big grape and boobs. What? What is the connection between them? Hello? Anaban? Sanatika Anaban? Uh, look, look who is talking here. Look, look, uh, Justice, hold on. Let me show you what Justice just said. Uh, he's saying, I hope you people, I hope you are smarter. Look, look at this. Uh, I hope you are smarter enough to see that CP twisting Quran and Hadith. I mean, who is it twisting? Isn't it in the front of you? Explain to me. Does your God promise that he will give us women with big boobs? Are we lying here? Prove it wrong. Here we go. You can give me a call. Okay, give us give us the answer for this. Did Allah in this verse, chapter seventy eight, verse number thirty three, speak about women with big boobs? Yes or no? And those are women Allah will give you in the heaven. Yes or no? Hmm, I'm waiting for you. Christian prince is twisting things. You fix it. Go ahead. I'm waiting for you, brother. Hello? Why you allow me to twist it? You fix it, fix it, fix it. I'm waiting for you. Are you there, Mr. Fixer Upper? Hello? What happened to you? Why you why you why you went uh, deaf now? Who want to fix this verse? Christian Prince is it twisting things. Equal age, uh, supposedly, they will be all of them because they are made in a, ma a manufacturer. Women in paradise, they will have a breast. And my friend, does it say here uh, uh, the size of the breast? What this word mean? Let us see. I will go to Google Translation. Let us see what the word 
mean? Voluptuous. Uh oh. It says that women who have a sexual active breast, luxury, sensual pleasure. Do you see it? Your God describing for us sexual breast of those women, saying that they are big and beautiful and they are so much to desire, attractive. So, why Allah is telling me the size of those women breast? Okay, another question. Did Allah give us what is inside what is inside their vagina, Mr. Justice? Justice, did Allah taught us what is inside their vagina? Big breast mean they will not be little girls. Oh, oh. Guys, look at this. Big breast means that they will not be little girls. So you are saying to me there's no child molestation as Muhammad he did in earth? Okay, okay, I got it. Isn't Muhammad who married Aisha at the age of six, Abdul? Is that your prophet or somebody else? So what do you mean they will they will not be children? Do you think Aisha she had big uh, boobs at that time at the age of six? How big her? Uh, I heard that Aisha she fell down from the roof and nothing happened to her because she had big breast. She was like boing 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 boing. Huh? So Allah is telling us that you will not marry little children. Why? Because Muslims they used to marry children. This what uh, this is the explanation. Of Mr. Justice, Mr. Justice, where we can find this interpretation in which book is that a book in Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, or this is your own? تقول له غباوة سيعتقد أنك تمدحه يا هذا لا تقول له غبي له في الأسوة use your brain look who is talking about using a brain you tell me I'm using my brain now a Muslim saying to me use your brain okay you know what I decide to use my brain thank you very much for the advice here we go did your prophet use his brain or his bum when he said this? That if you rest your if you lift your head up before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. What head was your prophet was using? Oh, sorry, what brain he was using? Something he bought from eBay. This is a prophet of God saying, if you raise your head before the Imam finished the prayer, Allah will make your face a face of a donkey. Just as Get me wrong. Prove me that I'm wrong. I am sure you left your head before the Imam many times when you pray. Prove to me that the Prophet was not lying and show me that your face is the face of a donkey. Hmm? And I was wondering why when I go there, I found nothing but donkeys around me. I thought I, thought I am in a zoo. It is not literal guys this is not literally this is okay okay hold on 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 if this is not meant to be literal so what it's meant explain to us he says to him aren't you afraid Allah will make your head the head of a donkey I want to listen to your genius interpretation hmm what is meant by this? If Allah will not make them donkeys anyway, so why he said, aren't you afraid Allah will make your face a figure of a donkey? What does that mean? Waiting for your wisdom. Muhammad always, he tried to scare people. He used terror to scare people to believe in him. Look what he said in the Quran. 
He said to the Christians, if you don't believe in me, Allah will erase the details of your face and he will make your nose go inside your head. <coughs> Is that literally or not literally? And he will do it the same he did it to the people who break the Sabbath. What he did to the people of the Sabbath, he made them pigs and monkeys. Do you see it? So stop lying, saying he did not mean literally. And why he did not do that to the Christians? If Allah, he said, if the one is talking here is Allah. If you don't believe in Muhammad, I will make you without eyes. He will array. By the way, guys, where is the microphone? The keyboard. I cannot find the key. Hold on. Allah erased my eyes. What I'm using now to talk, Allah erased my mouse too. He's with the stitches, they're the same as in the movie. So, how I'm talking, I'm talking from my uh, uh, belly bomb. Okay, what is my nose? <laughs> I cannot smell anything. Ah, what happened? I smell nothing. Uh, Allah, He put my nose inside my head and He turned my face to the back. This is what the word Quran is saying. Was Muhammad lying? Yes, he was. He's trying to scare people to believe in him, but it did not work. The book of guidance. Let me introduce for you the book of guidance. Book of guidance. Burn in hell, you are a liar. My friend, according to the Quran, we Christians will go to heaven and Muslim will go to hell. Here we go. Hello. The Quran says, chapter 2, verse number 62, those who believe and those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians and those who worship the stars, the Sabians, they will go to heaven. At the same time, the Quran confirmed that those who they are Muslims, they will go to hell. وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُوَا Is that me saying that? No, it's your Quran. وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُوَا وَكَانَ عَلَىٰ رَبِّكَ حَتْمًا مَقْضِيًا The Muslim translation, you will pass over it. That's false. Let us go to the interpretation and you will see how we got them busted. It doesn't say. It says, وَارِدُهَا Not pass over it. Let us find you the Islamic interpretation so Muslim will not say we are making things up. Al-Tafsir The book of Shish Kabab. All right, so this is a chapter uh, 19 and 71. All right, and here we go, bingo. And this is your Islamic interpretation, my friend, not mine. Let us see it together. This is the official government of the Kingdom of Jordan, government website, owned by the King Ahlul Bayt Institute, as you see, Amman, Jordan. And this is an interpretation of Ajjalalain. There's not one of you speaking to the Muslim, but shall come to it, that but shall enter hell. Do you see it? Do you see, my friend? According to the Quran, all of you will enter hell. Well, have fun. Don't don't forget to take selfie. It's cold here. I will print your selfie and put it in my living room. This is your Quran. Not even one of you. No exception. What do you say? <clears throat> Anyone? Very disappointing. Not even Sangal Abdul he called me today. Okay, guys. So how many of you guys do you know how you can find my videos? Because we don't keep them in my channel. So how you can find them? Look, 
always you can do this after we finish our broadcast this video will disappear for some time however after two or three hours you can search for the same title Quran lead to guidance and filter when you search in the search engine there's an option to filter to make it for search for today because you might find a video from the same title or thousands of videos all right so filter in the last like let's say last hour or last uh, 24 hours and you will find those videos and you can download them again all right uh, so as you see Quran is just a stupid book I mean we 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 did not mention anything is useful. What was it? What is useful in the Quran? Name for me one thing is useful in this book. Nothing. It's a stupid book. This book saying we will misguide you, we will lie to you, we will deceive you, we will kill you, we hate you, we will spread hate between you. What is what is guidance for mankind? If we follow the Quran literally, we will have the third war war start tomorrow, if not today. As simple as that. And those who follow ISIS, they are following the Quran literally. This is the truth. And everybody is lying to us. The problem is not ISIS. The problem is those books. When you see somebody from ISIS killing and looting and stealing and raping, this is in the Quran. Terror is in the Quran. It is the teaching of the Quran. Muhammad, he said, I've been victorious by terror. All those verses in front of us about terror. Cut their necks, cut their hands, cut their fingertips. Even the Quran is teaching torture. Am I lying? Kill the Christian, chapter 9, 29. Spread the hate between the Christian, chapter 5, verse 14. Lie to non-Muslims, chapter 3, verse number 28. Lie to your wives. Lie to your family. Have you ever heard of a book of guidance saying a man, he can lie to his wife and a woman, she can lie to her husband? What kind of a family we will have? What kind of a family we will have? Al Kadibu fi Let us see. رخص الكذب في ثلاث If a wife she cannot be honest with her husband and a husband cannot be honest with his wife so who is going to be honest with who, who you can trust you, you cannot trust them if you if you marry a muslim woman you cannot trust her because she been taught that her duty is to lie. And look, Muhammad is saying don't lie, but he is the one who says, look, it's not lawful to lie except in three cases. <laughs> the wisdom. You can lie in three cases. Lying to your enemy, lying to your friends, and lying to your family. Who want to marry a Muslim man or a Muslim woman? She will ask you, I saw a question in the Fatwa website, a woman, she is saying that my husband did lie to me. 
He, he, he asked him if you're married to a second wife. He did not. He say no. The Imam, he said to her, first of all, it's not your right to ask him. He had the right to marry up to four. Secondly, he had the right to lie to you. Do you see it? He had the right to lie to you. The book of guidance teach us that we can lie to each other to fix things. Beat in your wife, lie to your wife, lie to your family, lie to your children, lie to your community. We can lie to fix fix problems. So I am working in a bank, and you people are going to strike against the bank because you heard that the bank lost your money. I am an employee in the bank. I will say to you, no, 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 we have a lot of money. The bank is full of money. I can lie because we are fixing the society now. Muhammad is no different than someone he work in business in politics and he's a cheater and he is the master of a cheating While Jesus says you never even take an oath either you say yeah, yeah or nay nay anything else is from the devil Anything else is from the devil. So Jesus teaching you you have to be always honest Muhammad saying to you you can lie in three cases And by the way when they say lying in the case of war, what does that mean? Lying to non-Muslims because Muslims are always in war with non-Muslims Right How we can prove that The Quran says you cannot even take your own family as a friend They are your enemy Chapter 58, verse number 22. You will not find one Muslim who is a true Muslim who is making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger. Do you see it? Even if they are from their family and they are sons and their fathers, real sons and fathers. So if somebody says to you, I, am, I have a Muslim friend, that's because he's ignorant. Muslims don't have a friend and they are not allowed to have a friend. Muslims are allowed to say things, but in fact, they don't believe in it. And let us prove it. <laughs> he is allowed to say to you, you are my friend, but he is not allowed to take you as a friend. As long as he is lying, it's okay. And this is the proof. I will put it in the front of your eyes. Read carefully. The one who take non-Muslims as a friend, he has no connection with Allah, he have no protection. If you are sincere, so the, the verse here saying, take not the Jews or the Christians or non-believers as, as a friend. But the one who take them as a friend, and he is sincere, those who do that, seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites, disbelievers as a friend, has no connection with Allah. He has no honor, no mercy, no protection from Allah, unless... Yet, but you guard yourself from them against them, save yourself from them, taking it as it were security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them, while your heart dislike this. Do you see it? Islam is the book of the devil. Right? That's mean Jesus was a bad teacher because Peter did lie three times in the night and Peter was supposed to be the special disciple. You see, this is your stupidity because Jesus was a bad teacher. If I do commit sin, that is that's mean you are a donkey and you are stupid literally because if I am committing sin and that means Jesus is bad, that's mean that you know your, your prophet is bad too and your God Allah is bad. This is how stupid you are. Because Allah, he made Muhammad a prophet, and yet the Quran says that Allah is saying that he might forgive the sin of Muhammad in the past and the sin of Muhammad to come. Is that correct? So did Allah choose the wrong disciple? Did 
Did Allah choose wrong disciple? Here we go. This is your Quran. May Allah forgive your sin, which in the past and the one to come. So if you are saying that the one who did sin and he is the disciple of Jesus, proving that Jesus is bad, that's mean this is a proof that Allah is bad. Here we go. Allah, he chose Muhammad who have a sin in the past and sin to come. And he promised him open uh, what they call like, you know, open license for sin. Do you see it? <laughs> Your logic is beating you. And by the way, the verse you speak about Jesus, that the proof that Jesus is a true one. Because Jesus, he told them, who will deny him? Who will give him? He told them what will happen exactly, even if before it happened. And the Quran says, nobody knows the unseen save God. Any Muslim? Did Allah choose the wrong prophet? Not only Allah chose somebody is a sinner in the past, but he is a sinner in the in the future. And not only that, a Muslim, you want to call me? Okay, let me check. <coughs> All right. Let's try to add this gentleman here. <coughs> Look, man, oh, this guy, he is cutting hair of somebody. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning, my friend. What do you want Hello. to say to us? You're Hello. Good morning. You're alive on here. What do you want to say to Hello. us? Hello. Alaikum. That means right. What do you want to say? Hello, to you? hello, hello. Do I get through? Yes, we hear do you. Do I get through? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, are you playing games? We hear you. Uh, there seems to be a delay. Hmm. There seems to be a delay. Well, it doesn't sound there is a delay because if there's a delay, then your voice will be delayed too. Hello. Okay, let's take care. Anyone else? No, he, he doesn't have a delay because obviously, you see, because if you have a delay, it should be for both sides. That's mean the internet is bad. But you can tell I hear even every click he do in his chair. So there's no delay. Uh, do we have any Muslim want to call us? Anyway, so as you see, it's a big failure. We could not find anything proven to us that Muhammad is bringing any guidance. The Quran says the opposite. Allah, he brings misguidance. Allah is the one who misguide people. Allah is the one who decides people to go to hell even before they are born. If you remember the story of Adam and Eve, according to Islam, Allah made Adam do the sin. Allah 
he made Adam commit sin and he made him uh, he forced him to do that do you see it <clears throat> so even the sin of Adam according to Islam is not a sin it is Allah sin Allah he made Adam he forced Adam to commit sin and then he punished him for the sin he forced him to do you see it this is a story Muhammad he told that Allah he or denied things for Muhammad for, for Adam to do and for, for Adam to do and those things he have to do it's not a choice you cannot blame me prove me that Muhammad ever lie <laughs> the whole Quran <laughs> guys this uh, mr. justice saying I mean this is the this is very comedy the, prove to me that Muhammad ever lie when Muhammad he said that the sperm is coming from the backbone it's a lie when Muhammad he says uh, uh, the sperm coming from the ribs it's a lie when Muhammad he said the Sun set in a murky water every the Quran, every chapter in the Quran is a lie you I, I feel sorry for you you don't have a brain you are very silly and this is in the front of us this is under the lie because if Allah he made him do the sin why and we and this is why we can't blame Adam so why Allah kicked Adam from heaven huh why a sin which I should do do you blame me for doing the deeds which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me according to Muhammad no we don't blame Adam so Adam is a victim in Islam Allah is the real criminal so what is the guidance the Quran is the book of guidance here we go Adam he listened to Allah and the one who listened to Allah he end tortured thrown out of heaven and he die and he die with illness and sadness from living in heaven to be kicked out why because Allah he wrote that he should do the sin and this is why he kicked him out where is justice huh well this is obviously it's a lie because this is against the nature of God of being just why God want to play this game why what kind of God he created me and then he put me in heaven and he says to me if you if you do this I will kick you out and then I find out that he is the one who forced me to do it <laughs> if you remember once I have a debate with a Muslim Abdul he said Allah he needed a victim Allah he needed a victim so he made a uh, no sorry he said Allah he needed to be known so he needed a victim and that victim was Adam you believe it Allah needed to be known so he needed a victim and that victim was Adam this is what he said to me literally and at the and if you search for it in YouTube you will find it actually if you search for this let me see hold on let me try to find it myself <clears throat> I think the title was Allah needed a victim Uh, maybe the title is different I don't know if anyone can find it would be good to have it so people will laugh 
Allah needed a victim. You believe it? Welcome to Islam. Religion of stupidity. Yeah. Well, Looks like I could not find it, but I'm sure many of you heard it before. You know the, this uh, debate. It was funny how we agreed that Allah needed the victim. Allah needed the victim. All right, guys. As long we don't have any Abdul and uh, we are dry today, uh, let us hope that later is going to be better. Uh, subscribe and uh, keep your notification on so when you go live on air you will be uh, notified and you will be able to join us and I hope more and more Muslims will leave this stupid cult because there's nothing but garbage and chaos there Islam never been a guidance all the problem in the world is coming from behind Islam go open the TV station and see how many today get killed because of Islam alone how many just today how many in Africa? How many in Asia? How many in Europe? If Islam, if Quran is the book of guidance, why we cannot see it? If Islam guide people, then Islam should bring, and they say to us, Islam means peace, which is a big fat lie. So where is the peace of Islam? Where is the peace for Muslims? Where we can find them? Are they in the museum now? Was Muhammad a peaceful person? Muhammad was a criminal. Muhammad, he says, I been victorious by terror. Actually, he said that he was victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey. He is victorious from a distance of one month journey what kind of a peaceful man he was to the point people they will be in fear even if he is a month away you know what I mean he been victorious by terror by Aoi Frighting my enemy from a distance of one month journey. This is how peaceful Muhammad was Which means Isis is way nicer than him Right This is the prophet of guidance Bringing terror for people who live one month away journey That is guidance my friend anyway Thank you for listening. I hope we will be back soon, maybe tomorrow. And I will see you soon again. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can get my books from Amazon if you care to read more and have some reference. That's your business. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And thank you for being here.